a pot, yeah. We'll call that a saucepan. A saucepan. A saucepan. But you don't just use it for sauces. Sprinkles. Sprinkles. We call those hundreds and thousands. Very what? Quickly, right? Hundreds and thousands. So hundreds and thousands of what? Are we okay? Hello, my favorite people. So today I'm giving you another American versus British accent video, 40 differences from Mike Still. You know, a couple of weeks ago we came across Mike Still's channel and ever since then we've been reacting to- That's a sign that we just need to get into the video. Here we go into American versus British English, 40 differences. I'm just gonna preface this video by saying you guys say garage and Tuesday and stupid clownery. <laughs> Before you get butt hurt, this is all jokes and I'm just taking a piss, as y'all say. Taking your, taking your piss? Is it your piss or my piss? Here we go. I'm gonna show you 40 pictures of food or food related oh. items. It's a food and I just want you to version. Tell me what you see. What's this? Popsicle. It's an ice lolly. What's that? Ice lolly. Okay, I guess... Where is it focused? I guess ice lolly kind of makes sense because like you have a lollipop, which is a lollipop, but when you add ice to it, it's obviously frozen. So ice lolly, ice liquor, popsicle. Oatmeal. oatmeal. It's a bowl of porridge to me. Looks like a bowl of porridge. Porridge, is I guess. Is oatmeal the oats or is it what it's called when it's cooked? It's the oats. When it's cooked. Oatmeal. That's a skillet. No, 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 no. First of all, and that's a pan. Oatmeal, it's called oatmeal because there's the little leaf looking things, the, the mini leaf looking things are oats, aka a kind of nut, I think. I don't know anything. Don't listen to me. <laughs> this is a pan. What do you use that for? Frying things. Yeah. We call that a frying pan. Makes yeah. Sense. What is that? I feel like that, the frying pan number three should have been switched. I feel like the UK are the ones who say skillet and the US say frying pan. So I don't know about that one. That is a crocker, I think. Crock pot. A yeah. crock pot. Crock pot. Yeah. We would call that a slow cooker. I think crock pot is the brand. What's that? A pot. A pot yeah. We would call that a saucepan. A saucepan. Cutlery. A saucepan. But you don't just use it for sauces. Why does it keep focusing on my forehead? Is it trying to tell me something? Confectioner sugar. Icing sugar, which is basically. How can we very, know very, that's very salt or sugar? sugar? Beets. Beetroot. What's that? Herbs. Herbs. We pronounce herbs. the H. I say herbs, herbs too. Yeah. Unless I say herbal. Rocket. Delicious in salads. Quite spicy. What the frick is arugula? Rocket? See, the, the craziness is making me sneeze. Spicy leaf. Cilantro. Coriander. Cilantro. Coriander. Oregano. Oregano, we say. So same word, so but extra. it's pronounced differently. So what do you say again? Oregano. 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 We say oregano. Oregano. Basil. Basil. Again, same word. Basil. Basil. So we would say basil, you would say basil. basil. What's this? Cupcakes. What Cupcakes. And what's on top? Frosting. 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 What's well we would call that icing. It looks like chocolate icing. So we would it's never use frosting. We would never use But icing, okay. So what we say is icing are these colorful little no, that's sprinkles. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> but we also do say icing. Frosting, icing, same thing. Word frosting. What's on top of the icing? Sprinkles. sprinkles. We would call those hundreds and thousands. Very what? Quickly, right? Hundreds and thousands, so... Hundreds of thousands of what? We call them hundreds and thousands. What's this? Meat. We just say fillet steak. You tend to use the French word, and we just say fillet, fillet steak. Do you say fillet steak? No, we don't. No. What are these? Shrimp. I love shrimp. Prawns. What's that? Pa a baked, baked potato. potato. A baked potato. We would say jacket potato. <laughs> <Yes>. Jacket. <laughs> it's a jacket potato. Jacket potato. Do you say the jacket heck? potato? No. Jacket potato. What's the jacket potato wrapped in? 
Aluminum foil. We yeah. call that tin foil, or maybe aluminum Same thing. foil, but probably tin foil. Okay, so we would call this cider. What would you call this? We would call that Beer? hard cider. Why hard? Why do you add the word hard? Because it has alcohol. Oh, uh -huh. so anything with alcohol is hard cider. I don't drink. And if it's not got alcohol in it, then it's just cider, but if it's made from apples. Exactly. Okay. So you have apple cider, and mm. then you have hard apple cider. And apple, hard cider apple cider, yeah. It's good. Alcohol, exactly. Which we would just call cider. Okay, what's this? Salt. A glass of... Sparkling water? Oh. Uh, liquor. Alcohol. Spirits. So in England, we mm. drink a lot of this stuff. This takes me right back to my childhood. I would have a glass of this sugary stuff mm. every couple of hours. To Is it good? It's basically very, very sweet fruit juice, which you dilute with water. Does this exist mm. in America? So, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, you do have juice that is, like, already made, but you do have, like, whenever you go to the, they call them the ethnic aisles, or, you know, the cultural aisles, where they have, like, Spanish food, African food, you can find juices there. Like, I have some in my fridge. I pour it into a cup, but then, before I pour it, I, I put, like, half a cup of water to dilute it, because it's so, like, thick. Almost, some of them are almost as thick as a smoothie, so you do have to add water, but, yeah. We do have stuff like this. Okay, we've got I don't a squash, know what she's so talking about. Squash. In an English menu, you'd have starters, main course, and then desserts. What would you mm. sometimes, maybe not always, what would you often call the main course? Entrees. Is that at all restaurants or just kind of, it's kind of entree. Most restaurants, Most restaurants will have that. Entree. We'll See, we would entree. never use that, and I guess that's again a French word. Hmm. So in the UK, you would not get entree. You An would not entree. hear that word entree so much. Biscuits. Biscuits? Yes, that's very stupid. Biscuits. <laughs> biscuits. Are those biscuits? They look like scones to me. But you know what? Gravy. Even wait, wait, wait. I thought scones were the little SpongeBob SquarePants looking colorful cookies. Scone. Hmm. In the UK, we have two variants on this word. Some people call them scones, some people call them scones. So, I say scone. Who knows? Wax paper. Greaseproof paper. What's this? <laughs> Pineapple tinned slices. We oh. say tinned fruit. You said canned. We say canned. tinned. Canned fruit. Mm, interesting. Cotton candy. Candy floss. Cream puffs. Profiteroles. We're just going to move on. We call that <laughs> double cream. You would never see this label in England with the word heavy cream. Another thing you'd never see is the volume measured in fluid ounces. That's definitely an incredibly American label. <laughs> Okay, I'll, I'll admit, America is ridiculous for doing the whole metric system, not using, what do we even use? Whatever system we have that's completely different than the entire world, who, who decided that? Our founding fathers, honestly, what were they thinking? What were they thinking? Nutella. You would say what? Nutella. 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 We would Nutella. say Nutella, so nu and na, basically. And if you look very carefully, you can actually see... Actually, that label's in Arabic. Look, Karima el bundak ma el cacao. Mmm, hazelnut spread with cocoa, yeah. Saltwater taffy. Ew, I was going to say taffy. We taffy, we would just call those toffees. Saltwater I say taffy, taffy is a very southern candy. It's gross, yeah, though. Yeah, like Florida, Virginia, Carolinas. Okay, interesting. So you can't get it everywhere. You mm. can't get it in Wisconsin. I mean, you might, but it's If you're from be... Wisconsin, leave a comment. Can you just get it there? What's this? Can you use... Candy. He said, can yous get it there? Like, you all, instead of just y'all, yous. That's not even, what? Yous, can yous get it there? What? Tweets. Eggplant. Aubergine. Aubergine. <laughs> Aubergine. Say that word again. I hate Aubergine. that one. Aubergine. Aubergine. So you put the emphasis on the premier. You put the premier, premier foods? We say premier. Premier. If, if I see the sign Premier in, I, I say Premier in. What do you say? Premier. 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 Okay. What's that? Eggplant? We call that a courgette. Courgette. What are these? Okay, what I've noticed, especially about, like, is it focused on me? What I've noticed, especially about the vegetables, is that the words are, like, unnecessarily complicated. Like, what the heck was the eggplant one? And then for this last one, he called a zucchini what? What's that? Gualatine or something? We call that a courgette. Courgette! What are these greeny, purpley looking vegetables? Rutabaga. Rutabaga. We call these Swedes. Not like a Swedish person, but like oh. a Swede. If you have them in Scotland, you can have them with haggis. 
and uh, you, you call it leaps and tatties. Ooh. And basically, so on my trip to the UK this summer, this upcoming summer, I've decided I want to travel to Scotland. Last time I was there, I relatively just stayed in like the Westminster area, Barking Station area, London. But I want to, how far would it be to travel all the way up to Scotland? Because I know London is relatively like mid southern, mid south. Also, I need to visit this Geordie area because that will be, oh, that will be an experience. The vlogs, I can already imagine them. Ugh. <laughs> and you have to walk, and you, you have them, basically, you, leaps and tatties are like... Someone tell me why there's a bug in my computer. Mashed up sweet, mashed up potatoes, boiled in salted water and served alongside haggis, which is basically sheep's heart, liver and lungs. Ew. French fries. French fries, yeah. Chips. Chips. Crisps. Crisps. Grilled cheese. Toasty. Tomatoes. Toasty? Toasty. Eh. I feel like after I watch one of these videos, every time, like, a piece of my soul just gets chipped off. <laughs> oh boy. Again, you know, this is just for fun, but a lot of y'all's words are just ridiculous. Make sure you subscribe if you're new here. Let me know what other like, UK content you want to see, or just content in general. I'm open to do it, so comment it all down below. Today I'm playing my first ever game of Call of Duty on the second channel, so head over there and check it out if you want. Check the description, there's a link to the second channel where you will find even more content for me. I gotta get to work now. Bye.